Coochie Destroyer 25 uploaded a video. y'all tonight we have another reaction and this reaction is going to be of Devonte the one this is going to be procrastination destroyed me and you comment down below if you want to see more reactions by Devonte the one on this channel and don't forget to hit that like button hit that subscribe button and the notification bell right next to the subscribe button so you always get notified when i post a reaction video and the original video link to this video will be down in the description box below if you want to check it out for yourself let's get into the reaction because uh, I know I procrastinate. This nigga watching his gaming channel or something? This nigga is watching his gaming channel. What the? 9 p.m.? It was just 11 a.m. a second ago? Wait a minute. Why are all these tabs open? I could have swore. Hairline regeneration guide? Pine video. pimple Wait pop ASMR. Is that TikTok open? How long have I been scrolling? Americanized Chinese food? I don't even like Panda Express. The Express. Oh my God. What? It does be like that. Cause like you will be, you're scrolling on whatever fucking app you are on your phone or doing something and, and, and you were supposed to do something else. I am a uh, elite procrastinator. There has to be some type of award niggas like me get for procrastinating so fucking much. That nigga got hella crust on him. Ugh. But I felt that though. I need to be doing that, but I, I, I don't. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. I'm going stupid though. What the fuck? What? All right, it's 9 a.m. My routine's done. I'm finna focus and finish this video out loud. Coochie Destroyer 25 uploaded a video finding out I have a third nipple, not clickbait. Bro, you don't have to click that. Like, even I wouldn't click that. Especially with that type of name. That's it's only 9 a.m. I don't gotta go to sleep till 3 or 4 a.m. So I got time. But after this video, I'm gonna get straight back to work. I procrastinate. Like, a lot. Even worse than my overthinking problem. And I feel like there's a lot of bad reasons why. Any me and this nigga low-key the same, because what the fuck? But at least he got subscribers. Or like, hella subscribers. I mean, I got subscribers. Y'all fuck with me? Like, if y'all really fuck with me, watch all my shit, bro. Stop playing with me. I know y'all like Ace Fan, but like, fuck. Damn. Anybody else got this problem too? Me? Huh? Man, what? You too? That's crazy. You know what, though? It's gonna be all right. Because your boy Sensei Dev got you. You hear me? Trust me, my guy. Get out that pen and pad so I can throw you this advice to help you and me out. We gonna get through this together. Reason yeah. number one. I'll do it later. Ugh! You know what that means? That means you're not doing something here and now, not living in the moment. Avoid that sentence at all costs. It'll destroy you slowly. Trust me, I struggle to avoid it myself. So what I do to combat this, even though I struggle with it myself, is practice mindfulness. It's about living in the moment, like doing it here and now. And I know we all got something that hinders us from putting in the effort, like maybe it's distractions, you know, the phone. <laughs> Big booty holes on the ground. Gotta check out that player bill, you know what I'm saying? The what TV. The Gotta finish that season of Oh My Ghost. Aw, oh, man. The homies wanna lace up the size 12s and Smash Bros, even though I gotta get something done that's due tomorrow. Stuff like that. Whatever the case may be. I understand. But at the end of the day, as long as you're trying to combat this problem, bruh, that's all I care about. Does all that make sense? You get what I'm saying? Like, let me- Bro, it is crazy. He's right. As long as you're trying to combat the problem at hand, you really just gotta congratulate yourself for even the smallest of shit. Because a lot of the times, the smallest shit that you do may feel very insignificant and it will make you feel like you're not trying enough. Every little thing that you do is a step closer to just being a better you. As long as you're trying. That's all that matters. You know, in the comment section. Reason number two, I doubt myself a little bit too much sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Right? Whenever I work on a project, I set myself to such a high expectation because I know the limits of my ability. <clears throat> I have no limits. <laughs> <laughs> I have no Sometimes limits. I be stuck on certain video outlines for 
days stressed out overthinking everything possible Ooh, maybe i should nah nah what if i just mm, man this ain't good enough mm, bro it is okay to doubt yourself like just it, don't it let it be like the that. reason that you procrastinate that's 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 bad one way i try to combat this personally is by practicing building confidence in whatever i work on by giving 120 percent of effort and focusing on what i think is good enough does that make sense like y'all get what i'm saying let me know in the comment section it's a lot of pressure i know easier said than done reason number three really whatever you try to do do what you believe is good I sound hella inspirational as f right now. This shit is making me with fear <laughs> of failure. Oh, ah, man. my glob. This Jesus. might be, no, this is the one I struggle with ah. the most. I'm a person that likes to succeed. So I take this to heart. Now hear me out. And I thought long and hard about this whole entire subject. I feel like the source of that fear is what you define as success. Let that sink in for a second. Like. Do you value success in numbers, validation from the world based on your work, making your audience feel something like inspiration, happiness, etc., whatever the case may be. And when you fail at said thing, you either fall into a slight depression or take the L and keep it pushing forward by bouncing back 10 times harder. Easier said than done though. See, in my case, my problem is whenever I try to control something that I have zero control over. And that's something it's feedback. Thing about me is, is I don't like to settle for average. I like to go above and beyond average. I like to put in effort. I just have a limited amount of time to do it, which makes things 10 times harder. I wanna make every video better than the last. So I try to give it my all and make something perfect. I want each one to be the best thing I've ever seen in my life. No flaws, outstanding execution, but in the simplest form. But then I get stuck on something that's so daunting. Like I'm trying to put together the pieces of the puzzle in a flawless way because I set myself to such a high standard and such a high expectation and I don't want to let my people down. Am I a perfectionist? And then I start overthinking, then my head starts to hurt. I start looking like Jimmy Neutron and then I stare at the project for like five hours, not moving a single single finger trying to put the pieces together that's when the self-doubt starts kicking in and then the stress then eventually honestly for me this may make me sound like a slight dick. i want to be able to make everybody who watches my videos laugh you know be entertained because that's exactly why i upload them just to be you know just entertaining you know because when i watch my favorite youtubers i like to just be entertained but also i like them and their personality you know I kind of want that same thing. I I, I just want y'all to, you know, fuck with me, you know, more than y'all fuck with like the actual video at hand because those are like the best communities when the community fucks with the actual content creator more than they do the actual content, I guess, but they still like the content, obviously. One form of that is always liking, always sharing, comment, you know, everything, you know, just being active. I'm trying to get there. Show out for me. I'm saying share, like, comment, all that. It's it's all free. It's all fucking free. Really, I put the whole project on hold for a while, and then I take a break just to get my mind right by distracting myself for hours, sometimes even days, because I'm so scared of the results and putting out my best work as a whole, which in my opinion is kind of needed, especially for me, because whenever I step away from my work for a break, I come up with all sorts of new ideas, bro. It's so freaking crazy, especially after I sleep, because I'm a creative guy as you can see i feel like that's something that just can't be forced creativity at the end of the day whether i succeed or not on things i can't control is completely out of my control so what i do to combat this is focusing on the things that i can control and accepting what is out of my control does that make sense y'all get what i'm saying let me know in the comments all right jensen jensen so much i this has been your friendly neighborhood baseball bat being transparent with y'all once again i know this ain't your regular dto video but dang let a nigga help y'all out every once in a while i go through this stuff too nah i mean i love y'all man jeez anywho i ain't no therapist but i hope this helped out somebody out there in some form of fashion i gotta play i fuck with that uh we're gonna be reacting to more of his shit most definitely if y'all enjoyed that video by Devonte, the one go ahead and drop a like and also hit that subscribe button and the notification bell right next subscribe button so whenever i post a reaction y'all always get notified you feel me Wait, oh I, I don't know if i said it but leave a comment down below if you want to see more reactions by Devonte, the one and if you don't comment I'm gonna still react to the nigga cause you ain't, cause you ain't comment with, with, like what I should react to like. Peace, nigga. Don't line up five, I can't wait no shit. When I hop up, better hold your bitch. Call him, I shoot him, I shoot it, don't miss. We finna put you in that heat list. Y'all for make up dance like Chris. And my nigga keep a cannon like Nick.